But Jim, let's get all the CM Punk stuff out of the way right now, and let's do it a little bit differently. Let's talk about Punk on Raw after we talk about the ratings, just because that ties into what we've been just talking about. Right, because we don't want to be talking about different shit that we haven't been talking about yet. That's right. I, you I, know what I, I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, but no, let's go to... Don't. Let's go to this and talk about this. Monday Night Raw this past week, the overall average number, and the uh, date on this was December 11th on the USA Network, 1,466,000 viewers. But, Brian Last, and as you said, we will go into more detail about the actual appearance. It came at, uh, I'm looking at my notes. Oh, God damn it. Um... And I'm, the nine o'clock hour. The ah, the nine o'clock hour. See, I was starting from the back because the, before they put him on at ten fucking fifty two. Remember, but the nine o'clock hour. And the I have this jotted down from the documentation that I saw. The previous quarter hour, before the punk appearance, did one million five hundred and four thousand, right? That is correct. The punk quarter and his face-off with uh, Seth Franklin Rollins did 1,881,000. It was not only the high point of the show, it was a jump of 377,000 people, which, is, as we mentioned, is off times the entire audience of Collision these days, and definitely better than Rampage. Well, in the key demo alone, the quarter before was 657, 657,000 viewers. They jumped to 814, <laughs> which was the high point in the show. And then after that segment, back down to 567. And as a matter of fact, after that segment, they dropped to 1,432,000. So they lost 449,000 people after that. Okay, Punk's done. Well, the other problem is, Oh, that punk segment was great. Should I go to the bathroom or should I see what's on? What's on next? Oh, it's Valhalla and Ivar, <laughs> followed by a Bronson Reed video, and then Ivar versus Reed with a bunch of commercials in between. That's a commercial for everyone, uh, or that's a segment for everyone to go take a bathroom break. Yes, or make a sandwich or, you know, do something of, of a constructive nature. But to, again, that was the... Remember, we've talked about the WWE ratings do not lose from start to finish of 20 or 25% or sometimes 30% of the audience like the AEW shows do. Raw does lose in the last hour because it's three fucking hours. And they're, they're usually somewhat consistent in that they're not all over the... But this is a spike. This is... At that point, that was 20-something percent of the audience that that are 20 something percent jump in the audience and you can't ignore something like that what the fuck did and against a couple of football games so you know people that's probably a lot of the fucking people watch the football games are starting or clicking back and forth to see when the fuck is punk gonna do this and then i'll get out of it again they almost did as many viewers in the key demo as AEW dynamite does overall so there you go. Monday night in the key demo. Well, it's a different, but that's, it's an all it's a different tune for that song, I'll tell you. <laughs> as as the dream machine would say, they're about to start uh, doing some sad singing and slow walking. But but that's that's the point I wanted to make is at the perfect time for their rights renewal. They're, they've done, and for their business and pay-per-view and Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, they did the exact thing that made perfect fucking sense all along, which is why we said it has to be fucking done, because these people, ultimately, when it's uh, tens of millions of dollars are on the line, they do shit that makes sense. 